we have moved to the other side of the uh, arm to get a better view of the next two muscles. Here again is the extensor uh, digitorum. And right over here is the extensor digiti minimi. The extensor digiti minimi has an origin on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus up here, which and you can't really see it. And it has an insertion by way of a tendon to only the little finger. So it inserts on the posterior aspects of the middle and distal phalanges of only the middle finger. And as its name implies, it is an extensor of the little finger. And it also adducts at the wrist joint. The enconius has an origin on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and inserts on the posterior border of the ulna. The enconius is an, an extensor, an accessory extensor of the forearm at the elbow joint. Two muscles of the deep layer of the posterior compartment of the forearm are visible here because they form a visible bulge on the lateral side of the forearm. This muscle here is the abductor pollicis longus. The abductor pollicis longus abducts the carpometacarpal joint of the thumb. And this muscle right over here is the extensor pollicis brevis. And this muscle extends the metacarpophalangeal joint of the thumb. Here is a closer view of the two muscles we just spoke about. Here again is the abductor pollicis longus, and here is the extensor pollicis brevis.